hope you guys are doing well i've just like uh had my breakfast i woke up like uh two hours ago i decided to first do a little bit of cleaning up here and there especially uh utensils for last night i didn't wash them yesterday night so yeah i decided to first clean up then had my breakfast so i want to like take a quick shower right now so that i head to the market today i want to show you guys where i do my groceries um and the market that i go to because it's a very very affordable market it's a place where they have good pricings plus um you know the prices are so favorable guys it's one of the biggest markets that we have here in kenya and even in nairobi so yeah guys stay tuned let me catch you guys once i'm done with showering guys i'm actually so done i want to now step out yeah this is the look for the market today i've just worn my cape right here because of the sun by the way the sun is really really back and then i do not want to do anything to my face the only thing i've done is just to moisturize it i do want to wear like any makeup and then now i have my earrings so yeah i'm so sad i've just want a t-shirt some pants right there and this is my what i'm carrying i have more bags inside there too you know put my groceries i have my shades right here and i have my small backpack you know this will act like my small bag but it's a backpack so yeah basically that's it guys i'm already at kangemi market it's one of the biggest markets that we have here in kenya and particularly in nairobi and guys the first thing that i normally do when i come for grocery shopping is to compare prices i start uh, from the first section all the way inside because yeah the vibandas are so many of them but yeah people have different pricings but either way yeah i know once i get inside i know i'll get uh things at a cheaper cheaper price so that's the first thing that i do and in this market they have so many other things that they sell other than just groceries they have clothes they have uh the second hand clothes that are so nice especially the kids clothes are so many and so nice and yet affordable and many other items that you can get so yeah here it's me walking and by the way guys i was just so afraid of you know losing my phone because this market way hey i mean <laughs> you can find thugs following you but i was just crossing my fingers you know just like you know asking god to really really help me here so yeah my first stopover was this um place where i saw these sweet potatoes i really had missed sweet potatoes and by the way guys sweet potatoes are so expensive so when i found this lady selling them at 50 bob and some at 30 i was like wow okay let me just have some for myself so anyway guys as i shop around please enjoy listening to the music and yeah i'm going to um like catch you later
Once I was done with buying the onions and tomatoes, I started walking and, you know, looking for fruits. I was also in need of capsicum. And if you're seeing my hand here, it's because <laughs> I was trying to protect my phone, guys. Why? I was so like, um, yeah, not so comfortable walking, holding my phone. But, you know, because of content creation, sometimes you take risks. But, yeah. So, right here, I found uh, these uh, lemons being sold at a very, very fair price. And also this coriander right here. I mean, I was just so in awe. And, by the way, guys, um, it's very important for you to, you know, survey different markets because yeah pricings are so different in various markets but the reason why i love coming to kangemi it's because for real for real you can come with a particular amount of money and still walk away with you know so many items yeah so for in this economy right now uh you need to like you know um, be wise you know have your survey and see which market that you can go to and because i live along Waiyaki way i think this is the ideal market because i've been to limuru before and yeah the pricings are a bit higher yeah the pricings are a bit higher than kangemi so yeah uh when you're shopping just do your survey you know if you for instance you live in thicker road just check the markets around that place compare prices and all that so yeah just be wise in the shadows my enemies will think they want but i'm here to stay destiny So want to pose a question to you my people do you guys write a budget of what you are coming to buy especially when it comes to groceries because as for me i have to write down exactly what i need so that i don't purchase uh, uh things that i have not put in my budget or in my plan so yeah for me it really works very well for me and that way i'll be able to know how much i have spent and how much i have saved because yeah when coming i know i was coming with a thousand shillings so i needed to see what a thousand bob can offer and writing down what i need first is just so key to me because I'll not start confusing, you know, I start buying this, then that, you know, and wondering what was I looking for, you know. So, yeah, I just love writing down so that um, the remaining extra money I can now, like, add on to something. So, 
yeah let's uh interact in the comment section how do you guys do it destiny will overcome no i am not afraid like a phoenix in the night my soul rise from the darkness to the light i feel alive i'm a fire bright bright i'll never die like a phoenix When coming to the market, I usually take my time. So uh, for me, market day is so important. I have to create enough time because I really take my time to look for stuff. I also like comparing prices. So I literally walk inside the market for like hours. So yeah, are you guys like me literally? Because I mean, for me, <laughs> market day is just, a, let me say, I, I put it aside because I know I'll take time and I don't want to like hurry myself up yeah i hope i'm making sense guys i i'm trusting that you are uh, understanding what i'm trying to say here So guys, let me quickly show you what I got from the market. I can say it was such a productive day and I've just arranged them here so that you can have an easy look of what I got. So I think I'm going to start with this uh, coriander. This is such a great deal. They were going for 5 for 20 and this is a bunch of 20 shillings guys so i think that's a major major steal and then i got these uh tangerines uh at 3 for 20 so i bought for a hundred yeah i really missed um these uh tangerines they are very very sweet i truly truly that love them and my kids as well love uh, these tangerines so yeah we're going to be enjoying them then i have these um passion fruits these passion fruits were going for was it three for 20 i found that a great steal because near where i stay they go for 10 bob each so i mean this was such a major major steal as you can see they are so fresh and nice yeah, so I bought that for 100 bob. Then I bought this cabbage at 25 shillings. It's really, really heavy. It's huge. Even lifting it up is quite an issue, guys. Well, it's very heavy. So, yeah, they are going for 25 bob. And then I bought myself tomatoes. Though I mixed these tomatoes. I bought some for is it three the bigger ones i bought three for 20 these big big sizes i bought three for 20 and then i bought four for 20 the smaller sizes were going for four for 20 but basically the whole of this basin right here was 200 shillings i think this is going to push me through for like two weeks so yeah i think this is a great steal i mean hey because tomatoes were really high at some point so seeing them uh with this price was quite a steal and then now i bought uh myself these sweet potatoes sweet potatoes are so expensive nowadays i don't even understand why but i got these ones for 50 bob there are others which are going for 30 bob but 
you know they are packaged differently yeah the quantity is kidogo sana so i decided to go for this ones for 50 bob so i bought two bunches and then she added me this one guys so these two are going for a hundred bob but at least one bunch will serve us uh uh, one for breakfast one bunch can be enough for us for breakfast so two of them these are for two days which is okay with us so yeah then we have these onions these ones were going for uh was it four for twenty there were others going for five for twenty but this size was for four for twenty and i bought for a hundred bob then i bought myself omena hey you guys omena imekua bekali gosh guys omena ina pimwa siju ya jesquizi but i had really missed um making ugali with some omena so i decided to get some for myself so so yeah these are for a hundred bob imagine yeah but anyway it is well moving on we have uh these avocados they are not like ripe ripe uh they were going for 10 bob each so i bought five which were going for a hundred then i bought uh these lemons which were going for five for 20 so i just bought for 20 bob then i have this eggplant right here the eggplants were going for three for 20 but she added me one so i bought for 40 shillings have this uh capsicum right here this green pepper this green pepper was going for three for 20 as in i love the size because they are quite quite huge going for three for 20 was such a great deal so i bought for 40 shillings and then now i got okay let me remove these ones first then i got these other ones these are the red uh, capsicum and a bit of yellow these ones were going for 10 bob each i don't know why these capsicum are so expensive these yellow and red ones but yeah they were going for 10 bob she sold for me for 10 bob and she mixed for me the sizes which i found a great deal i really love them they are so sweet by the way so yeah these ones i got them and the whole of this was a hundred shillings then i got myself uh ginger we love doing ginger in this house so i bought two pieces which were going for 30 bob these two are 30 shillings and then now i bought myself um what do we call this cauliflower and then we have this <laughs> why am i forgetting the name let me remember e see cabbage okay i think the name has slipped off my mind gosh i think because i'm very very tired but these ones are the ones for making salad they were going for 70 the two of them yeah they were quite expensive but the size isn't that bad and this one was going for 50 shillings i want to be doing some salads so yeah i decided to pick some for myself so basically that is what i got from the market i can say yeah it was such a good time because i was not expecting the prices to have gone down for some items like the tomatoes i mean the tomatoes have really gone down plus the capsicum i mean uh a while back we were buying this uh, like three for fifty now uh, we we are buying them at three for twenty i can say yeah the prices are so good and then plus uh the onions the onions are still the same the the prices are still the same but what has disappointed me was this sweet potatoes don't mind the noise guys oh my goodness don't mind the noise but i really was disappointed about the sweet potatoes because wow i used to buy such a huge huge bunch for 50 but they have reduced the quantity right here so yeah we'll have to bear with that but anyway guys i think i am happy with this so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to remove them from here go clean them up so that i can store them 
So basically, I think this is it. I think I'm going to wind up this video. I hope you have enjoyed. I'm going to catch you in the next one. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's meet in the next one. I think I'll leave it at this so that I just go and arrange this item. So yeah, see you guys. Have a lovely time. Thank you.